Rana talks about uh, the gap and uh, another rightly pointed out, it's not exceptional uh, in the case. If you look at the United States statistics, where one percent of the people actually one percent of the rich people it's a very unequal world I mean, they, they, everywhere they own 35 percent of the assets not only 16 35 it's huge uh, uh, so it's, it's not it's, uh, uh, Bangladesh is not exception for that uh, matter uh, but that should not be the reason for not to fight I, I'm not trying to say you know of course <laughs> one has to struggle you know just because the United States is 35 and Bangladesh is 16 I'm not trying to say let it come to 35 no 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 I, I, I understand uh, the logic that uh, Rizwana is flagging. Uh, but but lo look at development uh, and some of the criticism that we get. Uh, when it comes to per capita carbon emission, we are very low, believe it or not. Per capita ca carbon emission is so low, you can't be, you know, you can't be serious. Uh, if, you, if, you look at, uh, if you look at Singapore, I remember speaking on, on uh, climate change once in, in, in Singapore and the minister was... Uh, flagging other countries and saying, oh, India is bad and China is bad. They're all, <laughs> and then I had, this, I, I always, you know, I figures are on you know, my way, is, is, is what I do. So I said, you know, you know, uh, which has the uh, highest uh, carbon, uh, per capita carbon emission in Asia? And she had no knowledge. Singapore. I know it was Brunei. Brunei is number one. And number, two, number two is Singapore. And <laughs> he, uh, she literally sat down. She, she couldn't believe it. And, and and maybe she got angry a little bit, but I, but, but I had to tell her that, you know, you please uh, check your figure, figures. Now, more importantly, look at the goods that they want us to make. You see, RNG came not because we wanted it or, you know, it was a pure capitalism kind of a transfer because the labor cost is, you know, low here. Okay. Now, they want us to make the leather bags, all the good leather bags, all the Italian shoes that you're wearing is made in Bangladesh. Okay. And they say, oh, Dhaka is polluted. Why can't they change the leather? Come on, you make the leather bag. You make uh, the, the shoes, you make the RNG sector, then I will see where your pollution is. So they have exported all their polluted goods to Bangladesh and to China and to India. And now say, oh, we need to do something on environment because there is a politics. What we call the dirty industry. Exactly. There's a politics in the environmental discord. This is what I want to flag. Salim Bhai would know much more on this. Uh, <laughs> the serious politics on this environmental discourse. They want to bash us up because it helped them out and so that they can say oh you put more money why didn't you give one dollar more for the environment you know pollution that you're doing why didn't you give five dollars more that you are not going to give that's right. the point right. uh, Rijana, Rijana, it's very very interesting uh, uh, what what uh, intia sahib is pointing out yes definitely uh, development has its perils but it is being kind of a uh, kind of a coming from outside and, and Bangladesh actually has to depend on the, the these countries and the input income or the money coming from these countries to develop itself. So you have to have, you can't 